welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Rachel and in today's video I am going to walk you guys through what I bring with me on like a work day, what, what a typical like, I don't know. So in today's video I am going to show you guys what I bring with me on a daily basis to work. So it's going to be you know, like a what's in my developer or engineer bag. But let's be real, since I'm a female, I carry a purse with me. So if you want to stick around and see what I bring with me on a day to work, make sure you stay tuned and might as well grab your snacks, tea, and like this video before we get rolling. Alright, so I know a lot of people bring fancy bags to work, but this I actually well, my mom got it for me at a thrift store, and I'm just so thankful for her because this is definitely a gem. And she only got it for eight bucks, so woo! So one thing you, that I do like, you can, you know, have some nice stuff on the side here, but I don't really keep anything in these pockets, so we're just gonna get on into it. So, now the thing that I like about this, so when you open it up, you have this nice component. I don't know if y'all can see it. So they got this component right here, right? And you just, boom, unbutton that. Now me, I'm a little extra bougie because, God forbid, if I did have a drink in here and if it did spill in here, I don't want nothing getting on my laptop. But the cool thing is, is that it has this little compartment in the purse for your laptop if you did want to do it without it. But me, since I'm extra, I do put my laptop in this case, if I can get it out. Two hours later, three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. This is my case representing Penn State. So what I really like about this is that you can have your laptop in here, but also in the front pocket, I keep my mouse. And I also have, wait for it, wait for it. A mouse pad with a mouse pad! Okay. So, I really need this. This really helps me throughout the day. I used to not have a mouse pad at all, and my wrist would really hurt throughout the day. So, once I got one of these, well, actually, you know, one of my old internships, my boss actually got me this as a welcome gift for my internship. That was super nice, so, got this. And they actually gave me the mouse too, now that I think about it. They gave me this and this, and they gave me some other cool stuff too, but it was great. So now we got through with that, so we're going to continue on through here. So another thing that I have in here, so sometimes I'll have like a notepad with me, and I got a pencil case, and for those of you who know, I used to do my Ipsy Glam Bag um, reviews, but I don't do them anymore. I'll save that for a different day, though, if you guys are interested to know whatever happened with me and Ipsy. But, yeah, I kind of use these as a pencil case now. These are super convenient. Or you could just put whatever you want on the side. Like, you could also put, like, me. I will put my glasses in there sometimes, but since I have that extra case for my laptop, it kind of gets... I don't really have that much room for the glasses, so I put my glasses case on the side right here. So, bring these... And for those of you who might know, I just refuse to use toilet paper, don't like toilet paper, so I bring feminine wipes with me to work. And so duh, you can bring your phone charger. You always gotta have your phone charger with you. You never know what could go on with that, or you can put your laptop charger in there, whatever works best for you. But for me, I always have to bring a phone charger with me because my job's kind of like an hour away, I'm doing an eight hour shift, and I will come home. I'm gone for like 10 hours at least on a daily basis, so I need to make sure I have my phone charger with me. So those are all like the big like technical things that I bring with me for my engineering journey, but for the most part, other than that, I just have these compartments on the side, so you can have whatever array, um, I don't know, whatever type of gadgets you want to keep in here. Me, I kind of have like a compartment specifically for like, oh, uh, okay, well I can't even get it out, but I got some lip gloss, I got lip liner, I got chapstick. Now me, one thing that I do want to say before I get off is 
I really would recommend looking into some like organic lip balms or just um some lip balms with some SPF in it, something like that because for me, it's starting to get near springtime, and I just want to try and make sure that I'm taking care of myself and nourishing my lips, especially during this time of year, too, because it's like one day in Philly, it'll be like 60 degrees, and then the next day, it'll be like below 20 degrees, so I have to always make sure that I'm taking care of my lips because they get extremely chapped. So the first step you could do is to make sure that you're using some nourishing lip balm, so for me, I actually got this in an Ipsy Glam bag. It's called Urban Jew. So this is an all-organic brand. It's okay. I'm not really going to recommend it. But I do like the Sun Balm too. But this doesn't have SPF in it. I kind of use Carmax for that. I know some people don't recommend Carmax because it has menthol in it. But for me, listen, I could go through all these different chapsticks and brands. But for some reason, Carmax is the only thing that really gets the job done for me. Nothing else tops that. If you could use a brand that's like $20, or you could use Carmax, which is like you can get at the dollar store, and that just works for me. Whatever works for you. All right, well, folks, this is all that I have for what I keep in my developer slash engineering purse. So if you have any other topics or videos you'd like me to make, please feel free to leave some comments down below. And listen, if you aren't already a part of the family yet, I would really appreciate if you take that time to smack that subscribe button because the only reason why I'm saying this is because I looked at my analytics the other day and I saw that 90% of y'all who watch my videos are not subscribed to my channel. And it would really mean the world to me and it would be much appreciated if you could just Hit that subscribe, maybe even the like button while you're at it too. Help out the algorithm and it also really helps show some support and love to my channel because I'm doing these videos out of the kindness of my heart. I know a lot of these other YouTubers, they get paid to make videos, but I'm doing this out of the kindness of my heart. Alright, well this is all that I have for what's in my developer slash engineering purse video. So, if you guys have any other topics or video ideas that you'd like me to make, please feel free to leave those comments down below. And if you aren't already a part of the family yet, what are you doing? Smack that subscribe and bell notification button so that you never miss another post from me again. I'll see you next time.